welcome to the second and final part of our series on grain delay. In this video we are going to demonstrate the effects various sound design applications, starting off with... Before we use grain delay as a resonator, we first need to understand how to do so with the regular delay. When we set the delay set time, the time to a small enough value, and increase the feedback. The delay stops creating rhythms and starts to produce tonal resonances. We can control the pitch of the resonance by adjusting the delay time with smaller values resulting in higher pitches. We can also control the decay of the resonance by adjusting the feedback parameter. With grain delay, we can apply the same process. But instead of modulating the pitch of the resonance with the delay time, we're going to do so with the spray parameter. Since spray increases the delay time for each grain by a random amount, the resulting resonance shifts and morphs in pitch over time. As you might expect, larger spray values will produce lower resonances, and lower feedback values will reduce the decay of the resonance. The grain size parameter controls the speed of the shift in all of them. The speed increases as the grain size gets smaller. We recommend applying this process in situations where you need to create movement, as it is an instant fix for tracks and arrangements that sound static or stagnant. Let's take this arrangement for example. The harsh effect is one of the most common techniques for widening sounds in stereo. It occurs when we delay one channel very slightly compared to the other. Unfortunately the harsh effect can sometimes result in sounds that feel a bit lopsided, as one channel is always slightly lagging compared to the other. With grain delay, we can create a randomized harsh effect with the spray parameter. Since spray is calculated separately for each channel, 
brain delay will always produce slightly different results. In fact, this technique is basically identical to the previous resonator technique, minus the feedback element. If we combine subtle pitch modulation with high feedback values, we can create really cute bouncy and bubbly rubbery sounds. This technique works especially well on sounds that possess low mid frequency presence and clear transient definition. For this demonstration we'll use this exponential kick rhythm sample. Let's add grain delay and crank the feedback. Now we'll adjust the pitch parameter in tiny increments. We can adjust the speed and characteristics of the bounciness in a number of ways. The logic behind this technique lies in our understanding of grain delays architecture. Subtle pitch shifting does not drastically alter a sound, but by adding a feedback element into the signal flow, we're able to stack these subtle shifts on top of each other over time, creating results that rise or fall in pitch. So our sounds can go boing. With its pitch parameter, Grain delay can generate harmonies for tonal or harmonic sounds. We can adjust the spray amount to preference, depending on how uniform or fragmented we want the output to be rhythmically. When dealing with a larger spray amount, we can use grain size to determine the smoothness and harmonic intelligibility of the resulting texture. Uh. We can use the random pitch parameter to implement subtle detuning. Or generous detuning. We can also stack harmonic intervals with the feedback parameter, which often alters the quality of the original harmony.
Taking negative intervals can be an interesting approach for high-pitched material. We can also stack grain delays with different pitch values to create rich harmonic combinations. time with these harmonization techniques. Understanding how to make these sounds is the first step. Using them to develop your own creative voice is a much longer process that requires practice and patience. In essence, a sound is measured by two core metrics, frequency content and time. A sound can be described by the relationship between these metrics, how the frequency content changes over time. Sonic textures that are natural or organic sounding are often characterized by nonlinear changes in pitch or rhythm. Grain delay's true potential becomes apparent when it is used to create these kinds of textures, due to its ability to randomize these two fundamental metrics in any given sound. For this demonstration, we will use the drum arrangement from part one. We will remove the tonal elements, as they can color our results in undesirable ways, especially when we begin to modulate pitch-related parameters. We can randomize the rhythm, or timing, of the incoming signal by increasing the spray parameter. We can also randomize the pitch of the affected signal with the random pitch parameter. We can determine the granularity of our texture by adjusting the grain size parameter. When using the pitch parameter in this context, it is important to visualize. Sure, positive values will result in higher pitched results, and vice versa. But if we allow ourselves to imagine the sound in a physical space, what we're actually controlling is the perceived size and sharpness of the texture. We can thicken the density of our textures with the feedback parameter. Engaging feedback also causes positive or negative pitch values to stack, adding an extra layer of depth to the physical characteristics of our sounds.
with grain delay, we're not simply creating textures out of our source material. We're defining the physics of the universe that they come from. We can produce results that follow the rules of our current physical world, or make sounds that subvert them completely. The choice is yours. Now that we've demonstrated some of Grain Delay's creative applications, it's your turn to experiment, explore, and utilize these techniques in your own practice. Remember, visualization is key. Sometimes it's necessary for us to turn our attention away from the screen, to close our eyes, and envision the physical qualities of the sounds we make the spaces they inhabit, and the emotions that they stir within us. But yeah, anyways, grain delay goes boing 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 boing.